Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the universe and created many many different kinds of things in the universe alhamdulillah Allah's creation we only know very little of what exists out there how many people have seen the uh, the, the photographs from Na NASA James Webb telescope people are amazed people are just astounded by its beauty not just its beauty but but the fact that people can now look at something that existed or the light has traveled to us from many billions of years ago you know those stars may not even exist now or they may be in different forms or whatever or different positions but the light has reached us now after billions of years and that picture you saw was they said if you put a, a grain of sand in your hand and put it to the sky it covers that amount of space from your kind of earth viewpoint so many different reactions are there from people it's interesting to see obviously the Muslims are quoting the Quran verses and, and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but others are simply amazed at the technology that we've built and we can see this others are amazed at the beauty others are amazed at the size of the universe but the main thing is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created all of this and all of it is a sign for us it's impossible that anything is outside the control and command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says to us that he'll show us his signs in the horizons and fi anfusikum or fi anfusihim he will show us the signs in the horizon and in ourselves wherever we look whether we look deep inside our creation our structures our body biologically physically or we look outward to the heavens we can see one thing that everything points to a creator of course for believers this is easy to understand and easy to believe but even for people who have no faith Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created everything in order there is an order everything follows a system Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the universe and the billions in that picture you saw they said there are probably hundreds of millions and billions of stars in that picture because it contains hundreds of galaxies or maybe thousands of galaxies and all of these follow a system they follow what non-believers will say physical laws whatever you call it, it it follows a system can all of that mass have come from nothing you know the big bang fine the, that's the theory could it have all be contained imagine the mass of billions and billions we don't even know the limits of the universe they say it's boundless or it's expanding but all of that is systematically controlled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every single star in the universe follows a due course and every creation in on earth follows a due course it's only human beings who have been given a choice whether to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in in some things we have a choice whether to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not in other things we have no choice physical body the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us we have to follow we have to we have no choice we follow the physical laws in things where we have voluntary choice that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us whether to believe in Allah or not whether to obey him or not whether to pray or not whether to pay zakat or not whether to treat others well or not these are the areas where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a choice a free will if you like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be in line and aligned to the rest of his creation to the rest of his universe this vast huge we, we can't comprehend it in terms of size and time what does it mean billions of years what does it mean billions of galaxies and billions of stars we can't comprehend it Allah wants us simply the rest of creation obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala follow his commands Allah wants us and he's given jinn 
the free choice, the free will. He wants us to simply do the same and become aligned to the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is all for our benefit. And in order to do this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent the messengers and the deen of Islam. Deen means obedience. So in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in verse number 83, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will talk about this way of following submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah simply wants us to submit just like every other creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The moon, the sun, the stars, all the other animals, every single thing that Allah created, the trees, the flowers, mountains, the seas, everything follows the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah wants us to do the same. He's given us that responsibility to test us. But people make a choice. People make a choice. There are those who refuse to do that. And there are those who obey willingly. Right? And this is, you know, the kind of backdrop of this verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins. He says, أَفَغَيْرَ دِينِ اللَّهِ يَبْغُونَ وَلَهُ أَسْلَمَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ طَوْعًا وَكَرْحًا do they desire a way other than Allah's? Do they desire a deen? Here the word deen. Some people translated it as a way. Some people translated it as religion. We've talked about it before. Deen, it can include religion. It can include a, a way, a, a belief system. Yeah? A way of practice. Yeah? Whatever the world view is of a group or a people. Do they desire a deen other than Allah's? أَفَغَيْرَ دِينِ اللَّهِ يَبْغُونَ Whilst or knowing وَلَهُ أَسْلَمَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Whilst knowing that all those in the heavens and the earth submit to His will Willingly or unwillingly طَوْعًا Willingly وَكَرْحًا And unwillingly or unwillingly وَإِلَيْهِ يُرْجَعُونَ And to him they will all be returned. To him they will all be returned. First of all, it's a question. It's a rhetorical question. Yeah? It's an extension of the point that all previous, as the previous verses were discussing, one main theme, that all previous messengers came with the same deen, with the same tawheed, message of tawheed, to obey, to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is an extension that all of the previous messengers were on the deen of Allah. Deenullah. They were on the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah asks, rebuking, chastising, criticizing. This is a rhetorical question. Tawbih or ta'jib uh, in astonishment. Like all of those messengers, they followed the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the heavens and earth. And he says, وَلَهُ أَسْلَمَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Whoever is in the heavens and the earth has already submitted to him. They've already submitted to him. They've already surrendered to him. Are you still going to follow another way apart from Allah's deen? Whilst everyone, even perhaps the people you worship or the things you worship are in submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are you going to seek another way apart from Allah? This